Hello, my name is Keith Rear, and I'm with ARL Logistics. Wanted to make a quick video for everyone so that I can show you how we utilize both the TIE TMS system and Parade uh, in conjunction to help better get freight coverage for all the loads for our customers. Um, what I'm going to walk through today is a little bit of how we create the loads inside of the TIE system and then when and where they flow over into the Parade system, some of the different things we can do in Parade to help find coverage for those loads, and then how Parade communicates that information directly back into my TMS using the integration so it's no touch to, to me or any of our employees. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the Thai TMS system here. So what we're looking at is a truckload, uh, shipment truckload search with some information here about a training customer that we have that we're going to use for this demo. So what we're going to look at today are some Brownsburg, Indiana's to Portland, Oregon's. Um, I obviously have a, a low rate in here. This is a live environment, so I do not want carriers calling in on this or using the book at nows. So we're going to stay significantly under the market, the drive in loads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new shipment. In order to do that, I'm going to open up one of these existing ones. I'm going to load the system up here and then go to my duplicate feature inside of tie. This is the quickest way for me to build a brand new shipment that hasn't existed before. The only things I really need to enter in here then are my delivery dates and the times for the shipment. And then I'll come down and I'll add in again, rates that are significantly under market and go ahead, hit save and view details. So now I've created a brand new shipment. The shipment did not exist anywhere in the system before. If I come in and I look at my activity log, uh, what you'll see is this is a brand new shipment that was created just now. Um, and I will show you that it does not currently exist inside of Parade either. So we're gonna go ahead into the loads board in Parade uh, where everything is housed. These are all other loads that we currently have that are available. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna search by my, uh, by my load number from Ty, and I'm not gonna see anything pull up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, uh, trigger the integration that allows me to send the load from my Ty system and over into Parade. For us, the trigger is the status booked. There are a few different ways they can build out the integration, but for us, we use the quoted status as a staging area. Once the load goes into booked, we're actively looking for coverage. So I'm gonna update my status. I'm gonna change the status over into booked. So now we've updated, and if I look at my activity log, what we're gonna see in here now is that the shipment status has changed from quoted to booked, and we'll be able to go see this load now inside of the parade system. So now if I look at the same exact load number, my Brownsburg to Portland, Oregon load shows up. So if you ever wanted to know how simple it is and how well the integration works between tie and parade, it's honestly, it's that simple. You build a load in your system, you initiate whatever the trigger is, and it's no touch to me to get it from my TMS into the parade platform. So all of these other loads that we have that are in here, um, that are, what if I just remove the, the load number. So these are all live loads that have gotten into my system. It's every single load that I've created inside of my TMS system we currently have available that is in a booked status, meaning that for us that we actually have paperwork from the customer. And so what you'll see here is we've got target rates, we've got book now options for some of our guys uh, for some of these shipments if they have uh, a book now integration set up for them. So some of these allow the carriers to come in and uh, actually just take this freight directly off of our boards. And for some of these that do not have book now rates, um, they will be able to come in and enter in a quote into my system. So these are all of our available, all of our available loads. If I wanted to come in to the system then, and I wanted to just basically source capacity, if I wanted to look for the same thing, I might be looking for then an Indiana going into Oregon for a dry van and then hit search. This is going to give me some information about different carriers that we have inside of the system that may be interested uh, in this particular lane. So as you can see, they found five carriers. So if I click on the carrier, ST Transport, what I'm going to see in here is a quick overview of the carrier with all of their information, um, how long they've been in business, uh, some different information that we have in here about them, trailers and accessories, freight preferences, anything that we put in here, the more uh, the more information that we actually enter into the system, the better that Parade will work. The more that we have in there, the more that it's going to have to go off of. So if I come in and I look at trucks and resources, I'll be able to see all their different information they have here. If I come in to look at their preferences, what they like to haul, 
contact list, insurance. Then if I come down here, I can look at recommended loads. So these are loads for this carrier that it would recommend to them. If I come in and look at their lanes and trucks, I'll be able to see any current lane preferences that I would have for a carrier or any trucks that they have available. So currently for this one, we do not actually have any lane preferences for them. So you may be asking, why did they show up in this particular search? The reason that it showed up in the search is because we've got an email from this carrier notifying that they had uh, dry vans available in certain areas. So you'll see these came in via email. So what will happen is, is that when they send capacity emails to us, uh, Parade will scrub those emails that come in internally, find the information out about those loads, and then automatically put them in there as available capacity, which is why this carrier is showing up for us in the system right now. But look at some of these other ones in here. Uh, we might see some different information about what they've done or what they've hauled. Um, so let me actually find one here that has a... So you can actually tell too. So Efrain and Oriana are two of our carrier sales managers. So I can tell who the carrier sales manager is for each of these. So let me come in here and see if we've got um, any lane preferences for these guys either. Or some smart rules. So I do have some smart rules in here for this one. So you can see some information in here. Uh, who's entered the smart rules, book nows, and, um, and also some notes in the system. One, one power only, six reefers, four flatbeds. So some information about the carrier that's been put in here uh, by one of our reps. Um, and it's all just about entering as much information as we can in here for these carriers. So some of them will have lane preferences if the carriers have given them to us. Some of them will have smart rules set up if the carriers are interested in that. Uh, some of them will just start sending us uh, messaging via their um, uh, blast list for their available emails. So also when I'm in here, what you'll see is I have the ability to look at all the messaging that I have for each of these carriers. So outbound messages. So these are the ones that got sent from um, got sent from the parade system to this carrier directly. So I think this is a really important piece of information to look at as well. So one of the things that parade will do for us is they will take the information that we have in our system, filter it down by what would be good for these particular carriers. And then the determinations of what would be, be good could be based on smart rules, could be based on preferences, could be based on emails they sent us with available capacity. And then we have the ability to go in and edit it. Based off of all of that put together, the carrier will get an email that looks like this. It's going to be listed with your company logo. So for us, we've got our, our logo at the top here for ARL prepared for their company name. So this is going to tell them right away. This is not just a blast list that is going out to every single carrier. It's specific to Patriot Star. It's going to have today's date, which is Wednesday, April 13th. This email was sent to this carrier today. And it said that we may, uh, we may have loads that match freight you told us you like, Georgia to Florida. So uh, in here, we've got a full van load at Cartersville, Georgia to Jacksonville, Florida. This has the ability for them to quote. They can click on this. They can submit a quote to us for this lane, whatever price they feel like is appropriate. Um, and then in here, you've got the ability to view rates for book it nows. So as I said before, some loads will have book it nows based on the rules you set up. Some will go out there just with quote ability, not with actual book nows. So if they wanted any of these shipments, they could click on it, view the rate, go into the system, and then book, the, book it from there. So this isn't going to necessarily require all of these carriers to be living inside of your parade system. The messaging that parade is going to send out to them on a regular basis will drive them into the system as long as the rules you have built for that carrier are going to actually get freight in front of them that they care about. So now when we have those conversations with carriers about how, uh, uh, how do you guys like to manage your fleet? What type of commodities do you like? What lanes do you like to run? Where are you always getting to that you have trouble getting back out of? Is there a common lane that you run to get back to? Um, all of these things are things that can go into our lane preferences, our smart roles, and then those roles are going to determine what goes out to these carriers based on actual available freight we have on our board. So it's a really, really slick way of having all of these things work together. And my guys are only entering this information in inside a tie and simply moving the load into book to puts it into Parade and Parade is doing the rest of the work to get this messaging out to the carriers from there. So that's pretty slick. But what I want to show you next is what happens whenever a carrier actually engages with us. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. and I'm going to come over into my messaging. So in my messaging, I'm going to have all of my inbound, outbound quotes and book nows that I have from all of my carriers that I'm working with. So my book nows, these are um, loads that I have that we've actually sent rate confirmations directly up to carriers for. So I'm just going to open the top one here. It's Pan Am Trucking. Looks like they booked in Oakland, California to Peru, Illinois for us. It's a full van. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this load ID and I'm going to go back into uh, 
the TIE TMS system just for a second here and show you guys what this looks like now internally. So this book now means that none of, none of the guys on my team had to do absolutely any work whatsoever. The load got built, it got put into the system, and then this load got um, uh, booked by a carrier and a rate confirmation sent without us having to touch it. So I'm going to come into my activity log really quickly here. And I'm going to um, come down in to see where we were at with our book now. So. Right in here, you can see that the quote was out of the shipment via a parade reservation for Pan Am trucking. Um, this quote status is completed, got the MC number, the source, uh, the amount, all of the information. This happened uh, today at uh, 3.52. So what we're talking about right now, this was roughly 18 minutes ago. Uh, from there, it was automatically removed from all of the other load boards. And by system note, the line haul transit leg was changed from book to dispatched. So now, with again, without anyone on my team having to touch it, we moved from booked, which is what was our uh, carrier coverage status, into dispatched, which is our basically our pending pickup. We need to confirm pickup at this point uh, via parade. It's going to give me the carrier that was assigned to them, and it's going to automatically send out a rate sheet um, to this uh, to this carrier. So up here, you can see, again, if you look at these times, these are just things that are all happening uh, all together. Um, carrier Pan Am trucking accept their parade reservation. Rate confirmation has been sent directly to the carrier um, for, uh, uh, for this particular shipment. So that means, again, without my team having to do anything, the carrier got his rate confirmation. So the carrier confirmation that he got sent would have been the carrier confirmation that's inside of the system. So this is the information that they would have gotten that would have gone out from us. So there's our rate con. And this carrier is currently in a dispatch status. Now, if I go into my truckload quoting screen, because you may wonder what it looks like uh, when we're trying to source capacity. So you can see in here, it looks like they had a couple of engagements with the same load, um, but we had an active quote in here for um, 4,600. You were able to see all of our previous information in here and some of the rates that we had covered this for in the past. 4,600 is a pretty good rate based on what I'm seeing uh, in the past coverage here. And it's very obvious that this came directly from the parade system. So it's pretty cool. Our team didn't have to do anything. And now all they're going to have to do is if they need to follow up with that driver for any reason for cell phone tracking or anything, they can reach out to that guy directly. But that guy already has the load in uh, the rate confirmation for that load in his system. So if we have set up the ability for a particular load to be booked through Book It Now, the guys can go on, see the load, accept the rate, book that load right now they'll get the rate confirmation in a couple of minutes as that comes over the really neat thing about this is, is that because my team doesn't have to touch it this is available to truck drivers 24 7. any freight that we have available that's in that book status and has the uh, uh correct attributes to be a book now load the carriers can go in and as long as that carrier is set up active and qualifies for our book now parameters from the carrier side they're able to accept that load get their rate confirmation and all my guys are doing is worrying about dispatching it from there one of the other cool things about this, though, is that just because they are interested in um, Book It Nows does not necessarily mean that that's the only option that they have. So as I come in here and I can look at, you can see there's a bunch of other quotes that we have in the system as well. So right now, let's just go ahead and take a look at this Ameriloop quote. So this Ameriloop quote is uh, a quote that came over to us. Uh, it was today at 2.30 uh, via our private portal. Um, you know, we have the... Uh, here so we have this in here as an oakland to peru so if i go ahead and i want to open up this load in my system i'll take this and i'll come back into back into uh tie So for this particular shipment, it looks like they've moved this back into a quoted status here, so this load might not be ready to go. Um, so for one reason or another, this one had come down, which is why we're not going to have anybody actively on this one. But what I will be able to show you is that when we go into the truckload quoting, anything even that's been pulled back, you can still come in here and see those same quotes through Parade. So anytime that there is a uh, carrier who's interested in a load that we have, they're going to be able to go in, look at that, put in an active quote and say, I do want this load. I want it for this rate, whether or not they're going to be interested in the rate that we have that's, that's, that's actually showing up on that, uh, uh, on that uh, particular load or not. 
Also inside of here for the emails, we're able to see the inbound emails. So I want to show you just really quickly what it looks like whenever we do get an inbound email. So this is what Parade will do to scrub the email and tell us what we have available for, um, uh, for trucks. But as I view this original email, they're going to come over in all kinds of different formats. So this is where they'll use their AI to be able to scrub these email for us and get us some different information. And based off of some of the stuff that comes out from these particular carriers, you're going to be able to then send them emails with information about loads they can either quote or book now. So they send this information to us, parade, then scrubs it, kicks them back loads that might work for them with book nows on there or quotes, depending on what their parameters are, and then it's all working to continuously engage with these carriers without our guys having to do a whole lot of work uh, on one side or the other. Uh, that's a high level overview of how the parade system integrates with the uh, TMS system tie and how we can use it together. Overall, this has been a huge tool for our team, our carrier capacity team, but also our operations guys that are working with our account managers directly to be able to help us to source capacity, reduce the total workload that we have, uh, from an operations standpoint and to help us engage with carriers in a much more efficient manner.